What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We're all about fitness and martial arts for the older guys. So myself, I'm 41 years old, brown belt in judo, been doing martial arts my whole life, and I'm also a online fitness coach. In this video, we're gonna talk about how many calories should you be consuming to lose weight for men over 40. Even if you're 40 years old, it doesn't matter. The same principles apply, whether you're 40 and over or 40 and under. It's all about calories in, calories out. How much do you actually need? 2,000 to 2,500 for most men. Most men are between 150 pounds to 170. It really depends on your weight and how much muscle you have, right? Now, also, then there's another range. It's 2,000 to 2,500 calories or anywhere between 2,500 to 3,500 calories. You know, if you're six foot two plus pounds of muscle, I mean 2,500 calories, you're gonna, you're gonna die. That's the range, so keep that in mind. 2,000 to 2,500, that's your range. And then from there, the only way to really know to establish baseline is to really track your calories during a whole week. Not dieting, not doing anything. You could use something like MyFitnessPal. You track your calories and you just see how much you're actually eating. And from there, you know, eat like you normally do. Remember guys, there's always a margin of error too, right? There's like 20, 30% margin of error for the most part, unless you become really precise and you become really good at tracking your calories and you do it properly with a scale and all that. Even if it's off, it's okay. We're just gonna go off that number. So for a week, you track your calories. It gives you a number like 2,800 calories that you're eating. Okay, so you know that's how much you eat normally, right? So if you want to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So that means that you have to eat under 2,800. What I suggest you do from there is that you cut, but you don't cut too much. You do something to the effects of, the most you should cut is 500 calories. So if you're at 2,800, then you could drop it to 2,300, for example. You might wanna do half of that, that 500 calorie deficit, half of that through exercise and half of that through calories. So I don't recommend more than 500 calories a day deficit and 500 times seven days, that's 3,500 calories. That gives you a pound of fat. You should be losing, depending on how big you are, about a pound to two pounds of fat a week. That's the average range that you should be looking at. Of course, if you're a guy who, for example, needs, whose maintenance calories are about 3,000 calories per day, then you're gonna want a deficit of 500. So you wanna hit about 2,500. You establish baseline, then you cut from there. It's not gonna be 100% precise. It's very hard to be 100% precise, even if you're using MyFitnessPal. And even uh, for higher precision, I mean, you're gonna have to weigh all your food, which gets a little bit complicated. That's why uh, you could do that when you're at home, but when you're not at home, it's a little bit more complicated. The reason why you wanna cut too fast or too much is because you don't wanna lose muscle and you don't wanna starve. Losing muscle slows down your metabolism. That's not good. That's like shooting yourself in the foot. Because if you starve yourself, at one point, your body's just gonna force you to eat. You won't be able to stay on a diet long enough to actually see, uh, to have long lasting results. If you're a man, normally, as a rule of thumb, don't go under 2,000 calories. A lot of the things I say here, geared towards, well, men. I mean, not that women can't, uh, uh, you know, do the same thing for the most part, but when it comes to calories, women, it's different. Men don't go under 2,000. So you add about 2,000. 2,500, depending on if you're between 150, 170-ish. If you're higher than that, then you might, depending on how much muscle, we're talking like anywhere between 25 to maybe 3,500 calories. If you enjoyed that, of course, subscribe to the channel and put down the comments below what have you guys tried, if you agree, disagree, whatnot. And of course, click on the notification bell so you're notified. Peace.